All right, so uh, for our next speaker, uh, it's uh, Roy from Trubit. Uh, he is uh, sharing with us about video for publisher best practice. 那下一个议程是来自于 Trubit 的 Roy， 那跟大家分享就是呃，对于媒体来说一些影片的最佳实践方式。那让大家掌声欢迎他。Thank you very much. I should be here in uh, Taiwan. It's my second uh, my second time this year, and uh, it always feels like uh, home uh, with all the partners. We already work with uh, a lot of you, a lot of the publishers here in Taiwan, and uh, hopefully we can uh, just grow from here. I actually thought about a cool startup during the presentation. A small uh, Richard app to put in your pocket and uh, take it with you. <laughs> Um, so we are here to speak about the uh, video for publishers. Um, the next slide. Okay, so these are my kids, and if there are parents here in the room, you are probably familiar familiar with that view. Okay, it's really difficult to take the devices out of the kids, right? And they only look small. They are pretty tough. So basically, you are right. They are probably either watching a video or playing a video game. Actually, in order to take them out of the video, we had to create one. So, <laughs> this is my family from beautiful Israel to beautiful Taiwan. I'm coming to the TPG forum to tell you all about our story. Yeah. <laughs> My kids again, if you didn't recognize. Um, so, the video is, uh, is booming. The video is uh, telling a story. It's uh, by far the most uh, growing uh, media. And uh, we are here to speak about how we can solve uh, publishers' problems and how we can help you grow that uh, consumption and revenue, of course, which is uh, always a pain point for, for publishers. So we will speak about uh, Truvid introduction, a little bit about uh, the data. Why do we need it actually? Why do we need? Why do you need to become a player? Best practices uh, for publishers without content, publishers with content. Our Truvid video score, how you can actually see metrics that makes a difference for you. And uh, we'll speak shortly about 2020 video trends. And in the end, questions, please don't be shy, as Richard said. That's very important. So, yeah. Okay, so what is Truvit? Truvit, uh, from our experience, we're working many years with publishers around the world, uh, and we realized that there's a gap between two important parties in the market. One is, is the content creators, and the other one is the media owners. And we simplify, we're a video technology that simplifies the consumption and the use of between the two parties. So we help them on the day to day to connect. We realize that publishers are constantly seeking for new content and content partners are constantly seeking for, for the publishers for distribution, new distribution and Unfortunately, there are not enough uh, places to to cover that gap. Uh, okay. just, just to complete that, so the platforming is including the advertising side. So we focus on the technology, on the on the connection between the content and the media. And then we also connect the advertisers automatically to the to the platform with every single uh, view. Uh, 那回到Truvi他们的主要的提供内容的服务呢
。那 Truly 其实在这个市场上，它已经做了蛮多年，那一直都很聚焦在怎么样子把内容跟媒体去做一个更好的结合，通过技术的方式，啊，让两边啊可以更好的整合。那也因也因此才有办法啊得到更多广告主的这个青睐。So a little bit about the, the solutions that we built. We have an interactive video player, of course. We have an AI video production, which is、uh, very popular here in Taiwan as well. We have the advertising marketplace. We sell programmatically to advertisers. We don't. We don't. We focus on the connection with the advertisers. That with companies like、uh, Verizon and、uh, and Google and Rubicon and others, and. We sell programmatically. We don't focus on the direct sales at all. Next, we have the content management system. So, if you have content, you can easily onboard it to to the platform in many many ways, as, as it's more as it's、uh, more comfortable to you. And、uh, we have a professional content library for publishers to be able and find you. So, publishers can easily go into the platform. There's a very big uh, uh, video library, and they、uh, can easily search and find the content that is relevant for them. 那数币的产品其实包含了很多的部分啊。那当然，第一个是说作为一个影音平台，他们其实有一个呃很好的 video player。那除此之外呢，在台湾呢有非常多的媒体使用他们的这个 AI video 的一个生成的工具。那这在台湾也非常的受欢迎。那至于在变现的部分的话呢，他们其实是走全部都是通过程序化广告的形式啊，那包含跟 Verizon Media、包含跟 Google 等等、Rubicon 等等的啊不同的程序化广告的这些广告主去做一些串接，那是不做 direct sale 的，全部都是通过 programmatic 的形式。那当然在这样子这么多影片的情况下的话，他们有一个呃，像画面上大家可以看到的一个 CMS 的管理后台，那可以在上面搜寻到好的影片内容。那有很多很棒的一些呃优质的影片内容，都可以在这个平台上，好让媒体去做使用跟使用。Thank you. Um. So, basically, the users are there. Your users are there. Whether if they are watching it, the video, and they are watching now, whether if they are watching with you, or they are watching somewhere else, we want to help you get the users watch the videos with you. 那因为其实使用者真的都在看影片，那能不能够让这些使用者看影片的时候，也是在你的网站上面看，哦，那其实是一个呃，处理想要去解决的一个问题。So an anonymous guy named Mark Zuckerberg, not sure if you heard about him, the CEO of、uh, Facebook, he said that video is a mega trend. Only he said it in 2017, and ever since. He actually said that it's a mega trend as mobile. He actually compared video to mobile, which is a we know what what the mobile is doing. So basically,、uh, Facebook are constantly upgrading their algorithms ever since to prioritize video、uh, over other media types. 那二零一七年的时候，马克吐克伯就说了嘛，这个影片啊、哦、是一个很重要的新的东西。那他们其实把影片视作是基于 mobile 之后的一个很重要的一个一一一层。那呃，从那之后，其实他们也一直在做优化啊、呃、演算法等等的，让更多的影片内容可以让消费者被看见。And Mark Zuckerberg is super smart, and、uh, basically. He didn't need to be that smart in order to identify that trend. Okay, let's see what happens when two mega trends meet. Okay, these are the numbers that I pulled for Taiwan market. Okay, 91% of the users watch video on their mobile devices. That's an incredible amount. In Trubit, we see 77%. By the way, the differences. Between Trubit and the, and the, the entire market is probably the, the social that we don't run inside Trubit. 那那祖克伯是一个很聪明的人，但他身边很聪明，大家也都知道，就是说影片是一个很好的趋势。那当影片这个趋势跟 mobile 这两个趋势碰撞在一起的时候，其实就会看到啊、呃，在台湾市场呢，有九十一 percent 的人在看影片的时候，其实是在行动装置上面去看的。那从出币自己的观点来讲，从他们的数字看，发现的话是七十七 percent 的人是在手机上面去看这一个呃影片。那
。在行动装置上看影片，为什么九十一跟七十七 percent 有一个落差？这其实我在 rehearsal 的时候问他的。那其实原因很简单，因为九十一 percent 的话，其实这是一个整体的趋势，那包含很多是在 social platform 啊，在社交平台上面的。那在出币这边的话，因为他没有社交平台，所以说他看到的数字呃稍微低一点，是七十七 percent。那这是这两个的落差的原因。Video attracts 12 times more user interaction, so it's not uh, just the, the more uh, important media, it's the most engaging media, it's more click clickable, the completion rate, the metrics, everything in the, is there and the users are engaging with it. 那呃，通篇其实写的很很很单纯，也很好懂，就是说影片其实是呃更十二倍哦、呃、更好的对使用者可以有一些互动，那不管是在点击啊，在观看完成率啊，甚至到转换等等的、呃，都有更好的表现。Now this one is science, okay? It's not just number, it's science. People remember the message better when they are watching a video. It happens to every one of us. This is why it's so、uh, engaging. And this is why marketers are big fans of video. 那根据科学啊，这不是一个统计，就是一些科学，就是说，呃，使用者在看完影片之后，其实对于要沟通的讯息，其实是更有印象。And eventually, if you treat video properly on your website, it will attract more users. 那如果你可以好好的把影片整合到自己的网站上面的话，其实可以带来更多的。Uh, so what we've seen until now is that the users are there. What we are seeing here is that also the advertisers are following, and it's pretty clear numbers. We can see the video compared to other display metrics, and the forecast towards to 2023 of the growth. You can see that both for connected devices as well as for mobile. The exceeding is in the video, so seven percent until 2023 will be in connected the devices, and 15 percent for mobile growth, which is massive compared to the other options. The advertisers are really adopting this channel. 那从广告主的观点来看呢，根据 PWC 的这份报告，其实大家可以看到，台湾 numbers， 对，这个是台台湾，那而且是 PWC 的，来来自 PWC 的数据呢，你可以看到跟其他不同的广告形式相比呢，其实影片有一个最高的成长，在行动装置上面其实有到十五 percent 的成长，那在这个传统的网络上面的话呢，其实也有七 percent 的成长，哦，所以其实跟其他的比起来。哦，都是成长最显著。对，所以我说的，马斯克会是非常聪明，但其实我们只需要跟随用户。OK， 用户在主导行动，然后随后用户跟随，当然，用户需要跟随。那其实我们说的，马斯克会是非常聪那就是说呢，呃，当然我们其实就是要跟随使用者情境，因为使用者在哪里，那些广告主也会跟着到呢。I need, I need to learn the, the language by now. <laughs> <laughs> Would take me a little bit. So for best practices, we want to speak about how we can help you, how we help you already on the day to day, and、uh, how you can grow your video experience.、Uh, basically, we'll start with publishers that doesn't have content. And、uh, what are the options for publishers who doesn't have content? Well, you can, first of all, I recommend start producing content. It's something that、uh, will take a while. If you don't have your own content, start producing. Start producing today because you're missing that train. And but producing content takes a takes a while and requires experience and sometimes also funds that、uh, not necessarily all the publishers have, from、uh, small to big. So other options would be to buy inventory, and buying inventory again can be expensive, and you don't know in advance what it will achieve, so it's also difficult. And、uh, you can also go to YouTube, maybe the biggest library in the world, and grabbing video from YouTube is super important, and I recommend to do that. The problem is that YouTube today, if it's not your own content, still not sharing a piece of the revenue with the publisher itself. So. It's not、uh, today. If if you want to use content, you should be earning from that. That the times have changed. 那这边要跟大家分享一些，就是
对于媒体而言，那怎么样子在这个营运的时代里面得到呃尽快的能够起步？那针对那些没有产生自有内容的媒体来说呢，其实呃给大家的第一个建议就是赶快去产生内容哦，不然的话其实呃有点错过了这个机会。哦、那不过产生内容的话，当然会有非常高的成本，那有非常多的一些困难跟挑战。所以第二条路，你可能可以做的事情就是说去买一些授权的内容。啊、哦，当然其实采买授权内容的话，也有授权内容啊、呃、会带来的一些困难。那、呃、当然不意外的，一定还是会有很高的一个费用。那蛮多媒体可能会选择第三条路，哎，那我就到 YouTube 上面去找一些合适的内容。啊、哦，不过。呃，如大家可能知道的 ，YouTube 上面虽然有一些广告的营收，不过如果你是一个媒体，你迁入 YouTube 的播放器到自己的网站上面，如果中间有广告的营收，其实你是拿不到的，因为这些收入会归给那个影片的提供内容者，而并不是媒体。Okay, so what Truebit can offer you is the content library, which is a more than one million videos and updated on a daily basis. It is built from premium content that is joining Truebit every day. We have more than 30 languages and、uh, more than 25 verticals to offer. So you can easily embed videos、uh, on the fly from Truebit and implement to your websites easily. 那 Truebit 这边就提供了一个 Truebit Library 的解决方案。那在这上面呢，其实每天都有很多新的内容啊、呃、被呃公公公稿上来。那有超过一百万支的影片，那来自三十个不同多多个不同的语言。那二十五个以上的不同的分类，那媒体呢，其实就可以在这上面啊得到合适的影片内容，那取用它，然后放在自己的网站上面。Another option, another option would be、uh, our AI video creation engine. So we automatically produce. We have a small technology that automatically produce content from your static,、uh, from your static pages. So this is an example of how we do that for a specific article. This is a recipe article of Coca-Cola. It's actually a sponsored article, which is also very interesting if you want to promote better your sponsored articles from static to video, more engaging, and everything we've discussed. It will look like this. Obviously, there's a there's a sound to it, and the sound can change, and the look and feel can change. We have many many designs. This is being done in real time, so we can、uh, we can change your video your、uh, pages to video in no time. And as you can see, it's branded. It looks good. It's engaging. It's also an interactive. Player in a way that user can actually click and go to either a landing page or more of your pages. 那刚刚在分享的就是说他们的这个 AI 的影片啊、呃、生成的系统。那从一个静态的食谱网站上面，那那个食谱的网页呢，其实是跟可口可乐有关的。那甚至它是一个赞助的内容。那通过他们的技术呢，其实就可以生成。啊，这样子一个算是蛮有趣的一个影片内容，那包含像是品牌的露出啊等等的，都会啊在这个影片内容上面啊呈现出来。Okay, so this is a this is a super important point that I want to speak about. How many of you here are content creators? 有没有人生产内容的？可以举个手。Just raise your hand. I won't ask you anything. <laughs> no content creators. Okay, that's the first problem. Here is one. Here is one. Okay, so publishers,、um, find your content creators. You can find them everywhere and bring them with you to to Truebit.、Uh, basically, we are building a community, a community that connects between the content creators and the publishers. It's easy to connect within、uh, Truebit. Find the content that you want to work with and、uh, and grow. I can tell you、uh, about one of our partners that is called Thomson Reuters. Maybe you heard about them. Maybe the first or the second biggest in the world when it comes to content production. Thomson Reuters is working with us for more than two years. At the same time, they have decided that they are starting to distribute their content through through the web、uh, in a rep on a rep share model. Okay, as opposed to what they were selling before, it was packages and it was expensive and publishers didn't use it properly. Ever since they have started using that method through the community, they have grown their revenue by more than 300 percent. 
to massive numbers for such a such a big company. Okay, so we finished the part of uh, publishers. You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we, we finished the part with the publishers that doesn't have content, and now for publisher that does have content, which has not less pain points than uh, not having content. But uh, so, for example, use the content on all your pages. Uh, it's very, very important for your users. This is a, an iCook example, of course, of using uh, the wrong content with Rubik Player. Player, we identify no need to we identify a, a quite a big problem with the, with publishers when it comes to uh, placing their content on their pages so I have a question to you how many of you here are from the commercial side of their company from sales only two. <laughs> You're a very shy audience. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. And how many of you are from the editor, editorial side? Any? So, okay, so rest my case, basically. In order to create premium revenue, you need premium content. The thing is that when we speak with publishers, we come to the commercial side, and we speak with the commercial side about place the content, we can see that you have the right article, the right video to the article and it's not there. So we use it, why are you not using it? And then they go walk two steps back forwards and they say, no, 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 content is not us, it's the editorial side. Then we go to the editorial side and we speak with them about implementing the, the video which will make them more revenue and they say, revenue? No, no, that's the commercial side. You need to speak with the commercial side. So what we identify is that there's a gap uh, of goals within the publishers between the editorial side and the, and the commercial side. And what we recommend is to create mutual goals of using more, consuming more of that uh, videos into their, into their pages. Now,在根据他们的经验里面呢，其实跟很多的媒体合作，那他们可能找了业务团队，但业务团队其实对于内容啊的部分，其实它是编辑台的内容，它其实是没有太多的权限。那到了编辑之后呢，A去找了编辑
呃，提醒，让大家可以快速的看到，可能它有多个内容。那不管是影片的内容，或是文章的内容，那编辑台那边呢，可以呢很及时的去选择说，哎，它有哪样子的内容，可能想要被放在这样子的一个总览的影片里面。那这样子的影片呢，其实因为它包含了多个不同的文章跟不同的内容，所以它可以被放在很多很多不一样的页面，不一定限制说它只能放在对应的那个内容页面上面。那这样子的话，编辑台其实可以很容易去控制这个东西，那也可以在更多的呃地方有一个影片的播放的体验。Okay, so the next example is another solution that we created. It's called the all-around player. So we identified that the the the, the editor sometimes needs to walk from different platforms in order to embed a specific video, whether it's embedding from one platform and implementing it to another. And we we realize that it's also a pain point for publishers to push more content to relevant content to their pages. So what we have done, we have created a, a one unit, which is the all around player. It's a it's a simple tag that you implement on all your page, pages. It is uh, transparent. It has full control by the editor, but we automatically identify it's one time integration. We automatically identify the match between the the article and the and the page. The video and the page, and uh, so we we will implement it for you. If you want to control it and to change things, then of course you can do that through the Truebit console. 那他们另外一个解决方案呢，叫做 All Around Player 啊，一个一个播放器的方解决方案。那因为传统如果你要串接不同的影片来源等等的话，其实可能你在每一页或者是说来自于不同的影片内容，所以在安装这样子播放器的时候，其实会非常的。困扰啊，也蛮复杂的。那透过他们的这个解决方案，其实你在不同页之间，其实你只要用一样的这个程式码，那他们其实可以在后台，它提供一个后台的界面，啊，让你去控制说不同的页面上面可能要呈现的影片内容是什么样子。那这样在串接上面的话，就可以省去非常多繁琐的步骤。Okay, so we spoke about publishers without content and about publishers with content, and hopefully there are no longer publishers without content. Uh, from now on, because it's very important. Now we want to speak about the video score that we have uh, created. The video score, well, obviously there are many things that can influence your uh, your success with video. We took a few uh, measurements that we think are the most influential and can impact your day-to-day -day, uh, work. One of them is the relevancy, then viewability, and brand safety. 那就是呃，刚刚其实我讨论到了这个没有内容的 publisher 啊，那有内容的这个 publisher， 那当然希望通过在这个这个分享之后，大家也都可以开始有呃影片的内容。那有影片内容之外，另外一个很重要就是说，影片内容其实呃还是有分啊值、呃、不同的品质。那他们这里有一个这样子的评分机制，那包含比如说影片的内容是不是呃有符合这个观众的需求，那包含说像这个影片的。呃，播放的时候，它的观看的可视率的状况。那另外呢，包含像 brain safety， 那也是他们评分的一个非常重要的重点。Okay, users are spending 58 minutes on an average with the watching video or creating video inside Facebook. 52 minutes, around 50 to 52 minutes within Instagram, and pretty much the same with the TikTok.、Um, the idea is that when is the last time that you actually searched? Within Instagram, when you go into such a platform, they know everything about you. They know your flavors, and they have their data on the users. So I'm not going to dive into data. You have enough about data later on. But the idea is that you have your own first-party data, and when it comes to video, it's crucial to increase from random opportunity of watching of、uh, presenting a video. To a content-related matching, and then for audience matching, you are the publishers. You are the closest to the users, and you should take that、uh, into consideration when you're working with the with the users, and think of how you are using your data in order to grow consumption on the day to day. 那这边呢，其实提到资料使用的重要性。那平均大概五十，一个人大概会花五十几分钟在这个不管是 Facebook 啊、Instagram 或是抖音上面啊去做内容的创作或是浏览。但是怎么样子可以让他呃，但但当你在这些平台上面在操作的时候啊，如果你有在搜寻 Instagram 或是等等的，其实你就留下了很多的 data。那在这个
s l i d e 上大家可以看到，就是说，呃，跟内容有关的一些影片呢，当然可以带来更好的一些浏览状况。但是更重要的是，作为媒体，如果我们有一些第一方的数据资料，那这些数据资料其实啊、呃、是可以做更好的这个使用者受众的比对，让他看到更符合他的内容。那这样他其实会在站上呃，你使用这些影音的时间就会变得更长。对 ，We're getting the signs of the time shot, so. We'll move forward to viewability. Uh, if you don't know yet, uh, this uh, video I'm happy to share with you. This is how Google are actually uh, viewing uh, or actually examining viewability in real time. So, viewability is no magic. Okay, if there's no viewability, there's no revenue for video. So that's for other display metrics. But viewability is a crucial metric. 好，那这边的话有一个影片，虽然有点技术障碍，我正在解决，是来自于 Google 的影片。那解释这个，解释一下可视率的这个运作方式哦。它其实不是一个，它是一个蛮蛮蛮有系统、蛮科学化的方式去计算可视率。那对影片广告来讲，一定要被看到才会有收益，所以可视率其实是非常重要的事情。Excellent. This is the page where uh, you can see the the viewability of the of the player. Uh, we'll see that in a second. Again, as I mentioned, there's no everyone can see easily the the viewability of the player. You need to implement properly in order to support uh, the revenue. Yeah, this is only where when the player is actually in view. Yeah, next one. So this is a this is a our. Platform. This is our console. We want to show you that viewability is not just a word. It's also a very, very, very measured metric. Okay, and we show you in real time on your own inventory how much is your units in view. Okay, we have more reporting for that as well. But your dashboard can already show you if you are in a good shape or in a bad shape. 那这个 v i e w a b i l i t y 对他们来讲，他们平台其实也非常重视。那可以从他们的平台上面也可以看到，他们有对这个可视率呢进行一个追踪，那是蛮及时的嘛。那可以看到说，你的可视率的变化是变好啊，还是变差 ？Excellent. Okay, so the the viewability as a, as we see also from advertisers, this is what they they tell us. This is the biggest impact on the, on your revenue. So when viewability grows, view rate follows. 那这是一张蛮简单的图表哦。当你的 v i e w a b i l i t y 可视率上升的时候呢，其实影片的这个广告填充率啊也会大幅的上升。Quickly about brand safety, we measure the brand safety of your pages in real time. Every time when you're loading or you're creating a generating a call to our player, we will check if your pages are safe. Uh, basically, we are keeping you safe because uh, you will not be banned by advertisers or content partners. Uh, and you will also, you can also save uh, money because when you're uh, distributing through different uh, media partners, you can actually work with us and understand if your, if the media that you are buying is is quality enough to to work with. 那提到 brand safety 的话呢，其实他们有这个每次当你在影片播放的时候呢，他其实会去打一个 API， 然后去检查说，哎，你的影的站上的内容是不是一个呃是符合一些呃规范的。那其实这样子做的原因呢，是也是要保护媒体呢可以得到比较完整的收益，那不要被这些广告主给 ban， 就是说你的网站可能有一些不好的或是不安全的内容。对、okay. um, ，Finally， so。We finish that part of the video call, and we want to speak a few words about the 2020 trends as we see them. Again, many many trends are probably will will show. Video performance is crucial as any evolution of uh, whether if it's a, it was on the display or any evolution of digital digital advertising, uh, video performance is coming fast, and uh, it will definitely be a big impact in uh, 2020. Um, the the consumption of the users, the engagement, the big data that we have about that, and also it's becoming cheaper and cheaper to produce content. So advertise more advertisers will get into the loop with the video performance. Uh, it's important to understand again the viewability and the engaging side of uh, the performance. And uh, finally, live streaming. So every user today is a broadcaster, and uh, and uh, and news are moving fast. So. Five minutes before,、uh, after five minutes, the news are no longer relevant. So we think that the live streaming and more publishers and more more companies are supporting that, 
uh, will only grow stronger in 2020.那随着大家像处理提供了很多这样子影片的产制工具所以对直播那他们也觉得在二零二零年会是一个很重要的赢赢的发展趋势。Finally, um, take actions with your uh, with your videos or grab more videos to show your users. Uh, use more relevant content. Monitor your video units for viewability and for safety. And contact the Trubit expert to help you with that. 最后总结一下就是说当然第一个就是说尽量要让内容跟你的这个营内容跟你自己原本的内容做更好的匹配然后再来就是说关于可视率的追踪广告版位的成效的追踪其实非常的重要那最后就是大家如果大家有兴趣